Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of triangles. This is standard 6.8a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 11 of the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So all we have here are four sets of angles and only one of them could be the measures of a triangle. Now, there is a piece of information that we need to know. So how many degrees, there's my degree symbol, so I'm going to put question mark degrees in a triangle. If you know that, this becomes a simple problem, probably takes you less than 30 seconds. If you can't remember, it's not in your mathematics chart, there's no formula for it, let me show you a way you can always remember how many degrees are in any triangle. And it, that's the cool thing about the triangles. It doesn't matter whether you're drawing an equilateral triangle, a right isosceles triangle, or just some kind of random scaling triangle. All of these have the exact same number of degrees on the inside. And the degrees, right, that's the, that's the measure of the opening of each of these sides. So those three all together these three all together, these three, even if you draw like the most extreme triangle like this, and it almost looks like it's a flat line. The number of degrees in this triangle are actually the same as this when you put it all together. It's all the same. So this is how we remember, in case you ever forget. Draw a square. Now, once you draw your square, put your degrees in the corner. And most of us can remember this. So we're going to start with something we know. A square has four right angles. Sometimes we call them square corners. That's why they're called right angles. It's because they are perfectly perpendicular with one line that goes straight across, one that goes straight up and down. And this makes a 90 degree angle. That's the number we have to keep in our brain, 90 degrees. So a 90 degree angle is a right angle. Most of us can remember that. We start learning that in fifth grade. So by sixth grade, it's known. So let's just put 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees. Add up all four of those, and guess what you're going to get? You're going to get 360. So there's 360 degrees in a square. There's actually 360 degrees in any quadrilateral and if we cut that in half guess what we get two triangles so let's think of our 360 we're going to cut it in half and that's going to be 180 that is our magic number every single triangle in existence add up the inside measures makes 180 degrees so all we need to do here is add these up and let's see what they make so i've got a is 120 45 and 20. Oh, and that's going to be close. That's going to be 185. That does not exist. B, no, B, I'll add it up, but take a look at this. I can tell you it's going to have some serious issues. Those are three obtuse angles. Each of those is over 90 degrees. Uh, I can't even pretend to draw that because that wouldn't be a triangle. Um, you couldn't even make that into a uh, quadrilateral that's so just random there's your 360 all right so you could make this into a quadrilateral if you split that up into uh four sides because there's your 360 but you couldn't do those three angles because you wouldn't have enough degrees left for that fourth angle so that is no good let's hope it's c or d so c is going to be 35 60 85 Let's see, 5 and 10, so that's going to be 4, 10, aha, uh -huh, 180, so C looks good. Let's double check to make D, make sure that's wrong, 25, 55, 110, and that's 10, let's see, that is 3, 8, oh, it's 190. Close, but does not meet the expectations, so the answer is C.